Hello. Welcome prospective MBA applicants. My name is Shelley Heinrich. I'm the Associate Dean of MBA Admissions at Georgetown McDonough, and I'm really excited to share with you a few tips on how to be successful in the evaluative interview. So firstly, getting an interview is the great... So first of all, getting an invitation to an interview is a good thing. It means you've made it to the next step of the application process. Not everyone who's interviewed is admitted, but you do have to be interviewed in order to be admitted. The interviews will last 20 to 25 minutes, and then there'll be a few minutes left for question and answer. You will be able to schedule your interview by seeing a link with a view of available interviews, and you'll pick the time that works best for you. You could be interviewed by a member of the admissions staff or a student or an alumni. And right now, during the COVID pandemic, we are conducting all virtual, uh, all interviews virtually for the time being. So when you prepare for the interview, you first want to then stage your virtual background. So as you can see, I'm sitting with a kind of a plain background, um, somewhat professional with diplomas. You could have a bookshelf, bookshelf, a blank wall in the background. Um, you don't want it to be too busy or too distracting. So be sure and find kind of the right place or your interview setting, make sure it's not noisy um, and that it's free of clutter. You then wanna look at the lighting. Um, so right now I have decent lighting in this room, but um, I also purchased on Amazon for less than $20, this kind of um, front light. And so it clips onto your laptop. And in case you are in um, a darkly lit room, you can um, change the lighting a bit to, to make it a little brighter. All right, so when you prepare for the interview, you wanna prepare just like you would an exam or a test. You wanna think about those accomplishments that you've had in your personal or professional life that you want the interviewer to know. So typically I pick two to three situations that I'm prepared to talk about in the interview based on the questions that are asked. Um, but because those situations may have happened a few years ago, you actually need to think through them so that when you start talking about them, you don't stumble through your words as you're forgetting facts and trying to remember the story. So take some time before the interview to really think through those accomplishments. Then I recommend using the PAR format. So PAR stands for performance, action, and result. It allows you to structure the answer of your question in a way that's succinct, organized, and allows the interviewer to follow you more easily. And then closing out the interview, um, you know, you want to be prepared both with question and answers or with questions for the interviewer, but also with a strong, you know, closing handshake, as I say, or a closing um, sentence or statement. And those statements can be something like, you know, I really want to thank you for the time interviewing me today. I'm really interested in Georgetown. It's my number one choice. And I'm excited at the opportunity to potentially be a student. Something like that. Some strong closing argument. Because a lot of times the interviewer is the one that, that has the last word. And if you're really interested in the school, you want to show that enthusiasm and interest. And then because we are virtual, I would recommend sending a, a follow-up email very quickly within 24 hours of the interviewer. It shows your interest and your commitment to the school to which you're applying. So these are some great tips that I can provide to you on how to best prepare for the interview at your school of choice, which hopefully is McDonough, and we hope to see you applying and also to see you joining us next year. So hopefully this is a short video to give you some tips on how to best prepare for the interview at McDonough. Have a good day.